So everyone, I want to give you an, a warm welcome. Um, nice to have you here on my uh, presentation regarding uh, business casing using OpenMS. Um, most of the guys uh, who have been on the last OpenMS user conference maybe know a lot of these slides because uh, a lot of things I told about uh, are from the last time. But there are some new things I want to talk to you about. Um, what is this presentation about today? Um, the first is I want to give you a short history of what we are doing and what, and what we do now. This is because you then understand a little bit better on uh, what I want to tell you about uh, our behavior with OpenMS. Um, then I want to talk about difficulties in sales and marketing. Then I want to talk a short while about project management. And then I want to give you some uh, insights in our experiences with our customers. Um, this will not be a technical presentation because I can't tell you anything about technical things. Probably you know more than I about, about OpenMS. So I just want to tell you uh, the difficulties if you want to use uh, OpenMS in your company or in the cu uh, customer's company and what uh, you have to take care about uh, if you want to use it in, in those uh, environments. So what is uh, the name of our company? It's NetThings. Uh, the name probably tells uh, uh, all of this. We are working as uh, mainly as a uh, service provider for network access. We are uh, um, connecting companies to the internet. We are connecting subsidiaries of companies uh, together. This is one, one of the main things we are doing. Uh, we have uh, uh, Two other things we, we do, the main thing is networking, so to connect the companies. The next thing, which is the next step in using networking is telephony. So we are helping the companies to um, get their telephone equipment up and running to get uh, the possibility to talk uh, over the boundaries of the subsidiaries and to use it in a very sophisticated way. We are using Asterisk, or another good open source tool for doing this. And the third thing is IT monitoring. This is the logical step which we made from our networking things because we take care about a not so small network. Um, it has a lot of gigabit lines, uh, a lot of uh, other leased lines which we have to take care about. Um, we are mainly using uh, Cisco equipment and we are using Fortinet equipment and we have to, to manage all these. And as you um, may think, uh, we have some troubles using this. Sometimes the equipment is not working. And we are using OpenMS for a long, long time and um, using this uh, to, to monitor um, our environment and the environment of our customers. So that thing, difficulties in sales and marketing. My main concern is to, to uh, sell projects to, uh, to our customers. And I want to tell you some of the difficulties we, have, uh, we had in the past and probably we have in the, in the future. So what we want to, to do in the first step is we give our customers, we want to give the, uh, our customers the ab ability to keep an overview over the IT. This is the main issue. Um, we are talking to mid-sized companies, uh, companies with 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 employees. And um, those companies are often have an IT department which was grown over the years. Uh, the responsible persons are very skilled in a technical way, but often not skilled in organizational things. And so they take care about bits and bytes. They are taking care about their um, fancy equipment, devices and so on. But they forget about the big picture of the, of the IT. And we uh, often come in uh, to, to those uh, companies and, and, and see they have a problem and they don't know about uh, what the reason of their problem. And very often the reason is to ha they have, don't have an overview over their IT. Um, we also want to, to, keep, to help them keep the IT well documented. Uh, OpenMS is a tool, you all know about this, it, it helps you to, to uh, document uh, the, the IT. I can give you uh, a short uh, 
insight in uh, how we are using OpenNMS later on. Um, so we are also using OpenNMS for documentation. And we want to give them the, the, this tool um, to manage the IT a little bit better. And one of the main concerns is to, to uh, create a better communication between the stakeholders in the, inside those companies. So the users, the administrators and the CTOs of the uh, CFOs of the companies needs to communicate uh, better. And we want to have peace on earth. So uh, to get an open NMS project, we have some sales issues. Um, the service is mainly not easy to explain. So if you come to a guy who never heard about open NMS, it's not easy to explain what OpenNMS is doing. If you talk to an administrator after five minutes, you always understand, well, OpenNMS is, is a great tool, I need this. But if you talk to an, uh, a CFO or CEO of a company, he said, what? What is this? Uh, it's not, not uh, easy to understand and he doesn't know about the, um, the, uh, the benefit of, of the, com uh, the companies. The next thing is uh, the revenue. It's not easy to measure. If you put on a uh, tool like OpenNMS, you can't uh, easily measure what you get from, from, from using it. Um, if you have uh, older tools, for instance, uh, HP OpenView or Tivoli or so on, and you replace it with OpenNMS, then it's easy to measure. But if you have nothing or other tools which, are, which you, uh, you have uh, found in the open source uh, environment, you can't measure it. And this is always the question you, you have. Um, to answer when you are in front of a CFO, uh, what have I paid? To, what have, have I? Uh, do I have to pay for it? And what do I get back if I pay for it? Um, in many cases, the customer needs uh, a short-term invest, so he needs some to, to spend a lot of weeks to uh, to get OpenMS up and running, or some weeks to get OpenMS up and running, or he needs a an, an, uh, helpful hand who, who does it for them. And uh, if they if they do this, they have a short-term invest, for instance, some some a couple of, of days to, to spend. Um, but uh, very often they get some long-term long-term savings if uh, they know about their IT. They have uh, an, 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 um, a basis for which they can talk about if they have uh, future um, investments, and uh, and so they can can do their capacity management and, and all the, the other things. So this is hard to explain, this long-term savings uh, the customer gets. And sometimes there is a resistance against changes in the company. Uh, uh, if you come to a mid-sized company especially, uh, then they always have some tools. Probably they wrote some, some tools them, themselves. They are using Nagios, for instance, or they are using different other things. And if you come to them, they say, oh, nice to talk about this, but uh, stay away with a new tool or stay away with your new ideas. Uh, we're doing it as we did it uh, the last 10 years. So, yeah, so probably you have to, to talk about this, um, uh, this, this uh, you have to come around with these things. And uh, the other thing is uh, very often co uh, the companies expect uh, lowest prices because it's open source. So. Uh, Taurus was talking about this, this uh, several times. He, he said uh, a lot of people have the, uh, the feeling that um, open source is like free beer, but it isn't. So you have to pay for, even if you want to train your employees, uh, even if you, you get an, an, uh, a team of, of uh, skilled people who help you to uh, use open source software, at the end of the day you have to pay for. So these are the difficulties in, in, uh, in sales which, uh, which you have. So the question is how to come around. Well, you can increase uh, the number of contacts with new customers. Um, you should contact uh, the customer at the high level because uh, using OpenNMS in the company is very important. It's um, a strategic question and so you have to um, you have to contact them and uh, to, to find a way to find uh, to, to open their hearts so they will uh, pr promote your project. And what I found out, you have to stay in contact with the customer for a long time. 
So uh, this year we have been on CBIT and we uh, showed uh, our experience with OpenNMS to a lot of customers and uh, we got a lot of uh, new contacts. Um, and last year we also have been on the CBIT and from, from those contacts we had, we are still working on uh, to, to find some projects with, with those customers. So it takes sometimes longer than a year to, to uh, uh, to make it make it happen that you can can get a project with your customer, and at the end of the day, uh, if you get the, uh, the possibility to do something, you, you need to do a good job. So if you have done a good uh, sales job, um, what is what is the, the next step, or what is what is in, from from our point of view the, the main important things? Um, let's assume that uh, the the people who are involved in, in, in a project with OpenNMS, they are slightly good skilled. So um, even the, com the, the, the people in the, um, at the customer side are, know about OpenNMS and probably they get some training. And the main thing to, to make an open source project in common or an uh, OpenNMS project uh, uh, especially uh, successful, it's project management. It's always the same. I think a lot of, uh, of you know about project management. Maybe you have heard about it. Um, so I want to give you in short, in short um, uh, idea uh, how uh, project management uh, regarding an OpenMS project, uh, project is, is interesting. So the first step always is define the goals. Um, you have to find out who are the stakeholders. And very often you have persons in the, inside those companies um, they are stakeholders, but you, you don't know about their roles. They have informal roles and uh, they, they have a very strong influence in your, in your project. Um, even uh, if they don't support you, you can run into big troubles uh, if you find, don't find a way to their hearts. Um, so you have to, to take care of who are the stakeholders. Um, then you have to find out what do they want. Uh, and I come to this question before I ask about uh, what do the organization wants because it's always very important to know what the people wants to have. Um, everyone in uh, side a company has its own ideas uh, what he wants to have. If someone wants to stick to Navio, someone wants to stick to Open, open View or some other tools, someone wants to, um, to, to have his um, um, you don't want some someone don't want to have new projects, and therefore you have to take care. What do they want? And uh, if you are, if you are uh, good, so you can um, put uh, the uh, the wishes from them in some way inside um, the definition of the goals. So the next step is to find out what uh, the organization wants and what the organization needs. This is very uh, special. And then uh, you have to find out what difficulties you have to manage. Um, actually, we are working uh, with a big company. We have a non-disclosure agreement, so it's not allowed to talk to about this. It's a big magenta colored company. Um, and they have a lot of difficulties. And those difficulties mainly have nothing to do with technical things. It's about how to get servers. It's about how to, to get the right people involved, to get, uh, um, to get uh, information about um, who, uh, who, uh, which other departments of the company needs to be involved. And this is the, the main thing you have to take care of in, in, in those projects to, to, to make those projects a success. So after you have to find the goals, uh, you have to do the next step. You have to do a kickoff meeting. This is very important and, and uh, very often it will be forgotten. Uh, so the, mo the, main, the most important thing is bring together the important persons of the project. If you don't do this, if, if they don't have at least one day where they sit around a table and, and can look into uh, each other's eyes, uh, you will run into trouble because uh, you, you will not get um, a uh, commitment from all of them. Then you have to define the role, their roles and responsibilities. Very important thing. You, ha you need to know uh, who to ask for the service. You need to know who to ask for information regarding the network, regarding the devices. 
you need you need to know the guy who is responsible for giving you access to the devices um, um, and all, all of those thing, things and you have to write down the responsibilities so that everyone in the in the project is um, uh, is informed uh, who is responsible for what. And then you have to create a timeline. In normal cases you prepare this timeline before you go to the kickoff meeting, but you should uh, discuss this timeline inside the kickoff meeting so everyone is involved and everyone, everyone knows how long this project will go and what uh, things everyone has to do in this project. And then you have to create a list of expected features and functions. Very important thing. If you don't, uh, sorry, if you don't uh, write down the list of features and functions you expect from the project, you will run into trouble at the end of the project because uh, one person thinks um, you will paint uh, this system in green, and the other person think, think, thinks the system will be colored in, in black. And at the end of the day, uh, nobody knows what it is. So you have to write down the features and functions very early. And after all these things, you need a commitment from all of the involved persons. It's very important. Ask them, uh, do you want this project? Do you uh, want to support this project? And in most cases, they will say yes. And in most cases, uh, they will uh, remember this, uh, that, they, that they say yes. And then, very important, write everything down. And send it to everyone. I, I, I'm talking about this because um, in the past I had to, uh, to deal with a lot of projects uh, where exactly those steps were, were missing and in most cases those kind of projects are a big failure. So the next thing is uh, just do the work. So during the work you have to inform the involved persons, you have to write the protocols, you have to keep an eye on the timeline. You have to escalate difficulties on, uh, very early. And you have to take care that the solutions will be created or will be done. Um, during this time, what, what, what I don't wrote on this slide is um, someone has to do the work. <laughs> someone has to, do, to install the systems. Or someone has to take care about the um, uh, the uh, devices and uh, to install the monitoring, configure the system and, and so on. Um, <coughs> but this, uh, th these steps uh, which you find here are very important uh, during the project to have a successful pro um, project. And at the end, when everything is working and uh, you, you think you did a good job, you should test the system more than one time. And if you have this list of features created at the kickoff meeting, you should compare all the functions against this list of features because then you know you, you, you met all the goals. And at the end, you can uh, get some of the, uh, some of the, the customers' um, employees to, to sit down with you and look at all this, those uh, defined goals and Whenever they find an issue, you can mark it and can take care that, that this will be removed or this will be changed. But in, in most cases, uh, if you test this yourself and you, you test it together with the customer, uh, this project will be a success. And then you can make the system available to everyone. In an OpenNMS project, this means you bring OpenNMS to life, you start some, some kind of uh, of uh, training for involved persons and so on, whatever. So and then at the end of the day is uh, at the end of the project, you have to finish the project. This is a formal step. You should do this. So you get the approval of the management that the, the project is over and it's, it's done. Um, you can get the support team involved. In most cases, it's, it's so that uh, um, at the customer, there is some, some, some team who will be, will be responsible for support. They should, be, uh, they should get training, they should get uh, involved, and they should use um, this system uh, in the normal way. And then you have to declare this project as a success. Very important thing. So, now I come to the last part of my um, 
presentation, it's uh, experience with our customers. I just have pre prepared uh, information about four customers we are working with um, to give you an idea on, on, on what we are doing with OpenNMS. And then at the end, I can show you some of, uh, of our working, uh, I can show you our working system and give you an idea on how we are using OpenNMS in our uh, company. So the first is Landratsamt Hersfeld Rotenburg. This is an, uh, a governmental organization not far from here in, in the north. They have around 1,000 employees. They have a, a lot of different locations, at least five. Actually, we don't know all of them because this project is about to, uh, to, um, uh, to be finished. Um, those locations differ from year to year because they very often decide to have a new th um, um, department somewhere in, the, in, in their um, county or how, how, I don't know how to explain. Uh, so they, this varies. So you have to take care about um, connection to the internet for all of those things. You have to deal with um, more or less skilled pe persons which are working with computers and they are always uh, uh, complain about uh, the network is slow and, and, and all the things and you have to find answers on why the network is slow and so on. They have a lot of, uh, a lot of different applications which needs to be maintained. Um, we actually take care about a VMware uh, solution which, um, uh, which needs to be monitored. We have uh, we take care about a lot of uh, network uh, equipment, which needs to be monitored in this uh, company. And at the end of the day, this uh, mm -hmm. using OpenMS helps a lot of managing their IT environment, even if the project will not come to an end because it's an endless project. <coughs> so, our next customer is uh, Sparkasse in Fulda. Um, they are. The, the, yeah? Sorry, are the project uh, time and material or is it an uh, external price? No, it's, uh, the, the first project was time and material. Okay. So not fixed price and not uh, a, a fixed timeline. But this is, um, for some reason, it's, it's, uh, it's a project which is good because time and material is it's easier to handle than a, a fixed price project. But on the other hand, um, this is one of the projects where we don't have a goal. So, okay. you know the problems. The next thing is uh, Sparkasse. This was a fixed, uh, a fixed project. Um, they are important for the auditing. Uh, you have to imagine that um, if you come to, uh, to this Sparkasse and you want to open an account and you want to do something, um, the, the officer is sitting in front of, of some kind of PC and is working with it and, and doing all the, the nice things. Um, but uh, the, uh, this, this organization needs to take care that everything which was done on, on this PC must be um, um, audited. So every click on the, on the keyboard will be, um, will be um, locked. So, uh, if you, so for instance, if you uh, try to log in to one monitor, uh, one terminal for uh, more than three times with the wrong password, this uh, monitor will be uh, uh, closed, and you can't connect to this system again until some of the of the IT department comes and and will reopen this thing. So they, it's very important for them to. Uh, to do all the logins, and we are using OpenMS to uh, record uh, the, 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 the login, login trials on, on this on these things. Um, this OpenMS was was implemented several years ago. Two weeks ago, we brought it up to a new version, so we installed a new version, and uh, we we put us some some extra uh, software in this. We used uh, Jasper for Jasper uh, server for reporting and we, we brought up uh, this to, to give uh, the management and, and, and short management summary on uh, the bad logging trials and so on. Our next customer is uh, a company which is quite next to, to here. Uh, it's a company which uh, is um, 
um, they, they're doing uh, equipment for measuring temperatures, for measuring um, the flow of, of uh, liquid, uh, liquids insi inside tubes and, and so on. They are doing a lot of um, electrical measurement uh, things. And um, they have 27 subsidiaries in Europe and they have two subsidiaries in China. Um, we are responsible for the whole network of, those com of this company. So all of those uh, uh, connections are provided from us. And uh, the main thing is uh, those subsidiaries uh, are consistent of, of formerly privately held companies. And uh, Yumo bought those companies and uh, integrated uh, those companies in their, um, in their organization. And the problem starts when uh, those IP uh, responsible persons and those old uh, companies are still employed, but they have a different um, different way to manage their IT, uh, like uh, like uh, it was it was used to, to, to do in Humo. It's a nice sound. Probably you have to use uh, OpenMS to monitor this. Um, and the problem the problem starts uh, that uh, those um, IT. Uh, responsible persons uh, start complaining that the network is slow and something is failing and they are trying to blame uh, the central uh, IT department here and uh, what we did we um, together we installed OpenNMS and we created some reports which showed that all the, net the network uh, um, environment was working properly and especially in those days when uh, those guys were complaining, um, the, the, the network was working well. So uh, it was an, an, a very, very easy thing for the um, uh, CTO uh, here in, in, in Fulda to, to say, well, let's look at the report. It says everything is okay. Why are you complaining? There must be a different problem with, which has nothing to, to, to do with the network. And this helps a lot to, to have a fact-based discussion uh, when, you're, when you're using OpenNMS. Well, and at the end, this is our new customer we are working with. Um, this is uh, the company which I told about. We, I can't tell you the name because it's non we, we signed a non-disclosure agreement. They have more than 10,000 network devices. Um, it's an energy supplier. And they want to replace IBM Tivoli. They have a little time pressure because at the end of May they hardly will, sh will shut down Tivoli because then they are at the end of their license. And the, one of their biggest wishes is to have the link be up and running and we are connected to uh, Antonio, he helps us uh, to, do, to do this because we are not a company who is, who is able to, to write programs, it's not our, our business. So we are working together with OpenNMS and uh, we are still uh, very happy to do this project. And at the end of the day, uh, I think in the middle of the year the project will be over and I'm, I'm sure it will be a success. So, um, now I will come to the end of my, of my um, presentation. To give you a short summary, uh, OpenNMS fits many needs of, of customers. Not all the needs, but uh, a lot of them. Um, we integrated a lot of other tools uh, together with OpenMS, for instance, this Jasper reports, for instance, OTRS, uh, and, and different other things. Um, nearly all of our customers are satisfied. I don't say every uh, customer is satisfied because I think uh, no, nobody can tell this but nearly all of them are uh, satisfied and the last point is uh, OpenMS services are not easy to sell. This is uh, the, the conclusion. So, then, thank you for your attention and do you have any questions? Well, it, it's not a question in the sense yeah. that uh, I think that the, 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 the thing you said in fact-based discussions, those are very important yeah. because you can actually uh, talk about numbers and all about yeah. 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 This, this is one of the main things uh, I learned uh, during the years because um, I, I always come to, to companies uh, uh, and then you, you get those finger pointing. Uh, 
Um, he is responsible for the, for the uh, firewall and he is responsible for the server. The server is working slow, but it, it is, has to do with the firewall and so on. And you have always those things. And if you use OpenNMS, you can measure it. And you, you see, okay, the firewall uh, is good and it's, it's working. It, it, there must be another reason. And you are uh, searching on a fact base. Uh, um, base manner, and then it's it's easier to to talk with with, with all the, those guys because um, what we are doing is not a technical business. We are doing people business. Every one of us, and, um, and uh, projects um, are successful if the people are working, are communicating good together. And if you have a fact-based communication, it's much easier to handle than in person-based or uh, uh, relationships. Group. Yes, yes, yes. Very important. Oh, actually, I can't tell you. I've never seen it uh, because the customer didn't show it, show it to us. Um, and I'm not, not very familiar with, with Tivoli. Uh, as far as I know, they are, they are monitoring 10,000 uh, network devices, mostly Cisco. Uh, I, know, I don't know, don't know uh, which of, of, of those uh, Tivoli uh, tools are, um, are best to use for, for it. But the only thing I know is um, that the license will be off. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, probably the enterprise. Yes. I can't tell you. Sorry. I think it's the original one. Can you give me an idea of what resources are required for installation from scratch in oh. I mean, the typical <coughs> from scratch project. Um, well, this, this depends. Um, we have uh, customers which are very, very small. Uh, let's say 50 to 100 employees. And we have customers which are, like the last project, very, very big. They have uh, uh, 100,000 of employees. And if you, uh, if you are doing a, a project for, a, let's say, 50 employee company, then you probably come around with two or three person days from, from scratch. You, you have a server, install OpenNMS, do some configuration work, you give the, uh, the customer an idea how to, how to use it and how to, uh, how to come around, how to, to feel uh, comfortable with the, the, um, the, the web interface. And, and so two of, yes, yes. And, and this, this other project, uh, the last project is about 250 person days. Also, it depends. One, one issue I found is uh, if you come in a company which uh, was constructed from different smaller companies like this, example, yeah. this two more 27 different companies, everyone has a different way to name these devices. So yes. You can't monitor and say uh, the automation is uh, very difficult. Yeah. You can't say if it uh, starts with sun, it's a sun switch, and if it starts yeah. with net, it's a network switch. So Everyone has another idea in this set and it takes a lot of time to, to yeah. get them to rename their devices so you have uh, a naming concept uh, which uh, allows you to do a lot of things automatically yeah. like the thresholds and everything. If you have to do it on the IP addresses it's a lot of work in the Maybe can, I can, can give you a an, an short uh, idea uh, what we are, how, how we are using OpenNMS. Um, uh, so, so this is this is not working. <laughs> no, no, it's not a slide. <laughs> no, it's not a slide. It's it's because it's because um, the VPN is not working. I have to take care about the VPN. Uh, where's this network thing there? Yeah. 
in normal cases this should work, but it doesn't. I'm sorry, I want to show you uh, um, uh, the, uh, our, um, um, our map uh, tool. It's, it's not the tool Antonio wrote and we, we learned about uh, this morning. Uh, it's an Nagios uh, tool, it's Nagvis, and we use this for, uh, for document, uh, documentation of, of, of the, uh, the environment. I have to take care, I, I can show it to you, but it was working five minutes ago. It's like li like Taurus. Yeah. So well, now it's working. Okay, thank you. So. So um, I think the monitor is a little bit small, so you can't see everything in uh, like it is on the OpenMS interface. Um, yeah, here it is. Um, I, I just want to show you this uh, uh, maps we are using. Um, uh, Michael was so friendly to um, to connect this NACVIS maps to to OpenNMS. Uh, it's not a very comfortable way to to uh, to, um, to have a documentation because we are using uh, Visio graphics, put them inside NACVIS and put those small dots on on them to have an, uh, an, an documentation. And what we are doing is, uh, for instance, we have a geographical uh, overview ab about our network, which you can see here. And you can uh, drill down, for instance, uh, you can see here another map of Fulda. And we have one, two, three, four, and five five locations where we have some network equipment. And this is uh, a small, a small um, data center we have. And so you have a top view on the data center and you have uh, the possibility to go down to one of those racks and you see the, the, the things inside. So you have a geographical overview. Uh, and this helps you a lot of, uh, to know about uh, where are your, your, your systems. But those graphics are mainly for the, um, for the management. So no administrator ever needs uh, those, those kind of graphics. But uh, if you have this and you can show your management, well, this is the server you bought for me and you, you spend uh, 50,000 euros for it, then the, the management is pleased. And that's all they want to know. One question. Is the monitoring done in Markios side? Or is it no, 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 no. The monitoring is, is doing an OpenMS. Um, we we uh, published uh, the, the connector for, for, Nagi, for NACVIS uh, to OpenNMS. I don't know where you can find it, uh, but it, it, I'm sure it's, it's, it's available. So if you, if you go here and you click here on one of those servers, you see the statuses from, from this, um, this OpenNMS. If you click here, you see that you are right on, on an, an OpenNMS. So it's completely connected. And it's, it's a little bit hard uh, to, to manage this because um, if, you, if you want to, um, to maintain all of those maps, we have, as you can see, at least 100 of them. Uh, and we, we wrote a map for every customer, for every customer project, we, we wrote, wrote one of those maps. So um, this, is, this is the way to, to have an, a documentation. This works for small companies, for smaller companies. But this won't work for, for a company like, uh, was, uh, let's say, Vodafone or something like this. So you definitely need, need another way to, to have an, 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 a map tool. And I, I think the tool from Antonio will, will be much more helpful and we will use it in the future too. Yeah. So, further questions? Some Wikipedia, at least. I was just 
typing Google Knockbiz and open an MSC integration. So yes, yes, something. probably you, you will find it. I, I can't tell you where it is, but uh, if you give me your mail address, I will take care that you get the information. I think I'll find yeah. it. You, you found it? Yeah. Okay, fine. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you for listening.